at this test site for a fully automated indoor shrimp farm. There are no more surprises. Two years after the start of the project, the team, led by founder John Diener, is going to market. In the second half of this year, we will have 60 of these tanks. And then there's a, a robotic gantry that goes up and down the middle of that racking system. No, no people are touching the tank. It's running autonomously the whole time. The farm is located in a harbor warehouse. The shrimp grow in these tanks under almost perfect conditions and only need half as long to reach market size as in conventional open-air farms. An AI-controlled computer system constantly measures and improves their conditions. Underwater cameras track the development of the shrimp. The team collects so much data that only an AI system can make sense of it. This is a system that the more it runs, the better it gets, a bit like the Tesla car. The price of the shrimp is already competitive, but the system's biggest advantage is yet to come. It can be set up anywhere in the world, eliminating the cost of expensive supply chains. This batch is being sent out to restaurants near the city. Just hours after they come out of the water, customers here can enjoy raw prawns with pickled green chili and a little horseradish and lime. So we always tell them where the prawns come from and that it's like locally farmed in Singapore, which is different. Like you can't, most things farmed in Singapore, you don't want to eat. Yeah, I mean, the waters here aren't the greatest, right? Back at the shrimp farm behind the busy Singapore harbor, John Dina takes a closer look at the seaweed filtration system. The different algae species here allow the farm to operate a zero-discharge recirculating system. The shrimp farm has been using the same water for over two years, hence the distinctive color. Both the seaweed and the shrimp are regularly tested for diseases, but so far the farm has had no problems. This is a crucial difference to conventional shrimp farms, which often have to use antibiotics. John Dina worked in the shrimp industry for 10 years until he decided that shrimp farming needed a new approach, one with competitive costs and minimal environmental impact. Sometimes we see the shrimp, they kind of like to just float up with the bubbles and then go around and then float up again and go around and float up again. It's almost like they're kind of having fun. The team is already thinking about applying its AI farming system to chickens or cattle. But first, they want to breed their own shrimp instead of buying young shrimp from Thailand. According to the two founders, aquaculture is just the beginning for this new generation of agricultural systems in which the computer is the farmer. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, yeah maybe we can uh, 